astronomers are questioning their knowledge of the universe following the release of new images taken by the James Webb Telescope. The pictures show six galaxies and appear to be around 13 billion years old. An international team of astronomers led by Evo Labe of Swinburne University analysed the data, suggesting the red objects could be unusually massive galaxies that appeared five to 700 years after the Big Bang. And Evo joins me now live from Melbourne. Thank you so much for joining us. So take us through exactly what has been discovered here. It's pretty amazing, actually. So when we look at the early universe, yeah, because we're looking at very distant galaxies, so we're looking back in time. If we're looking at the very early universe, you expect to see baby galaxies, right? Baby universe, baby galaxies. Now, galaxies are supposed to slowly grow from small to big, and they don't really get big like the Milky Way with 100 billion stars, you know, until 14 billion years. And so now we're looking at the early universe, and we see baby galaxies with tens to 100 billion stars, basically as many stars as the Milky Way. So there seems to be a fast track that creates monsters really quickly, and that breaks all theory. That's absolutely incredible. Can you give us an idea then of just how big the, these potential galaxies are? They're really bizarre because big doesn't mean that they're large. And so the way this works is that we find baby galaxies in the universe. So imagine going to a kinder and you see babies of a one-year-old and you would expect that they're like five kilos or 10 kilos, but they're 100 kilos. And they're not just 100 kilos, they're truly bizarre because they're like seven centimeters tall. So we're talking about the tiniest, but at the same time, most massive babies you've ever seen. What a fascinating discovery. I've got to ask though, why has it perplexed some astronomers? Well, you know, we have observed the universe for quite some time now with a Hubble Space Telescope, for example, for about, you know, 20 odd years. And so we thought we had a pretty good idea about what kind of, what baby galaxies look like. But it turns out if you look at a different wavelength in the infrared, and this is basically, you know, JWST's superpower is to observe at infrared wavelengths, then you see a whole different side of the galaxy. You see essentially what it was hiding all along. It's like lifting the curtain. And you basically see that what used to be little babies or what looks like little babies turn out to be monsters. Yeah, and it's like lifting the curtain. It's a really great analogy. So what happens now and when will they be confirmed that they are indeed galaxies? Well, you know, as you point out, this is not the definitive proof yet, right? This is a developing story in a way. Um, we have to go back and then look very carefully at the detailed composition of the light. We do this with a prism where we shoot the light through a prism and it spits out in its rainbow fingerprints. And then we can really see what's going on. We can see how far away the galaxies are and we can exactly tell what is producing the light, whether these are stars or it's something more exotic and something that we don't understand. Just how critical has the James Webb telescope been? Has it been a game changer in making these sorts of discoveries? You have no idea. Um, this is a once in a generation thing. Um, the, the telescope is about a hundred to a thousand times better than any telescope that has come before. And it is blind, it, or it can see in wavelengths where any previous telescope was blind. It's, it's a transformation, it's a revolution, and it's only just beginning because it only started taking data six months ago. So you can tell that this is actually based on the first week of data of James Webb. And you know, this is already revolutionary. So we're just beginning. Absolutely, it's just uh, it's been such an incredible tool, I guess, for the space world. Just finally, Evo, so what happens now for you and the team? I, we're still getting our heads around this, um, but as you can tell, these are only six examples and, and they have to yet to be confirmed. So but there must be many more of them. And so we're putting the telescope through its paces and, and hope to find many more.